I'm lucky to have to count these two as my lifelong friends and it's the thing I'll miss the most but it's also the thing I'm most proud of that I have going forward. Jack, if you've got a plan, the time is now. Go, go. And gentlemen, how are we? Good, good. How you doing? Good. Nice. Good to see you. Uh, John, I want to start here with you. Uh, we've seen the Jack Ryan character go through a massive evolution throughout the first two seasons. And I'm curious how you, as a performer, um, continue to keep him grounded in the face of what have to be uh, constantly raised stakes. Yeah, that, wow, it's a great question. I mean, keeping him grounded is is uh, an, always an easy thing because of who I get to play with. I mean, I think these characters and what he uh, needs to do to trust people and to rely on people is what makes him a human. You know, I think that him trusting his gut and having someone say that it's dangerous to trust your gut is what makes the character interesting rather than, you know, like other heroes, able to go off and do whatever he wants. There's consequences to what Jack does. So as far as raising the stakes, I think we raised the stakes in every single way we could for season three. Um, we actually had the fans in mind when we came up with the idea for season three because we knew um, once we were pushed and clearly the pandemic is what delayed us and once we knew that there would be that much time between the two seasons we wanted to create something that um, the fans you know was worth the wait for them so I thought you know having um, the CIA be the one that's chasing Jack and actually he's being hunted down by his own agency is is pretty it's pretty good for as far as raising the stakes goes and uh, for me it was probably the most fun season to shoot because of that I think that you know, getting to, um, you know, when you're red noticed and on your own, you have to do things very, very differently, like asking him for help and, and hoping that your best friend back at, at the agency is taking care of you, even though it's against the law for him to do so. So I don't know, it was, it was definitely, I think this is the most action packed we've had. And I also think it's the most beautifully, uh, beauty, beautifully intricate story we've had uh, in the show as well. If you don't come in, you will be recalled. I come in now, a whole lot of people are gonna die. Betty, I'm curious, what are some of the challenges that come with joining uh, a show midstream? Well, uh, you're, it's, there, are a lot of, there are a lot more benefits than challenges, but that definitely I was challenged by how much intelligence gathering this character has to do and has to deliver. <laughs> she, she's got a lot of um, things to explain. So that was challenging, uh, but it was really great to, it, and it is intimidating to come into a world that's already established, people that are already really know who their characters are, but they couldn't have been more generous. John and, and Wendell, who I do most of my stuff with, um, couldn't have been more generous and open and, and connected with me. And that's such a blessing. So it was, it felt easy to, to join. Nina, just your association um, with the Tom Clancy books. What was your history with them? And do you look at them any differently now that you've lived in the world for a little bit? I must admit, I wasn't a big Tom Clancy reader, but yeah. I've seen the, uh, before, uh, but I've seen, you know, my, my, my story with Jack Ryan starts with, uh, uh, um, uh, what is the Jean Connery film, The Red, Hunt oh, Hunt for Red October. Hunt for Red of October, exactly. So that is a film that really stuck with me. And uh, that's where I entered the Jack Ryan universe, you know, and then going through all the films that have been made with several <laughs> great actors, you know, and then having seen all the, the, the two previous seasons with, with John, where I think he brought, I mean, I love him as Jack Ryan, you know, I was really a fan and, um, yeah, so that is my, I, I can't really talk about the books, to be honest, mm -hmm. but I love the whole universe of, of Jack Ryan, always, because it brings together the, the action world with the politics of it all, the politics within an institution like the CIA, but also, mm -hmm. it, you know, it takes you to all different cultures and countries. So you learn about that, uh, and it, it's, 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 just, uh, it's just a very, um, fascinating exciting character yeah that that you get to travel the world with basically <laughs> and save it save it also we hope yes yeah we hope <laughs> oh yeah 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 we hope jack every second matters wendell from what fans have seen in the trailers and the commercials um it looks like you're doing a lot of monitoring from afar so i'm curious of how your relationship with jack is changing uh, going into this season and how your role is changing going into this season well, I am uh, 
a part of uh, the leadership of the agency. And so um, my relationship is as strong as it ever was with Jack because he saved my life and I'll be forever indebted to him. And I trust him. And so, uh, so much so that when he breaks out of his lane and, um, and the agency is actually in pursuit of him, that I will do everything to protect him. I will help him from the minute it happens, um, I, I know that I have to protect him. And you see that in the first episode right away. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, it's an uh, illumination of our trust, um, the loyalty to, uh, that I have to him, and uh, making sure that I'm protecting him, uh, protecting his six, you know, at the agency uh, and outside the agency and making sure he's getting to where he needs to go. Nina, what is a quality um, or maybe a skill associated with your character that audiences are not expecting to see? That's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. I think with having a, an idea of what a politician should be or is, you might be surprised of how human she is. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, yeah. Maybe I leave it at that. <laughs> Jesus. Betty, what, I want to get your take on um, binging a television show versus giving yourself a, a week to breathe, especially on a show that can be as, as intense as Jack Ryan has been. Yes, and you know, I've been on a couple bingeable TV shows. I, I don't recommend it, honestly. I think <laughs> I think there is such a thing as TV fatigue, and I would caution audience members to be mindful of that. And I don't simply because there's such great uh, depth to these characters, and there's a lot of things going on. So I think just a little bit of a break after you know three or four episodes is advisable to so that you get everything. So what are the odds this is a one-way trip? 80, 90 percent. It's my last fight won't be in coach. John, it's, it's uh, comforting going into a, sh a season when you know the season four is going to end your story, that you can sort of dictate where it goes. What are you going to miss the most about playing this character? These two people right here. You know, all the, the, all the times that we have off camera are um, as exciting to me as, as what you get to see on camera. Shooting the show was uh, thrilling and getting to work with them as actors, but the time that we had off camera together and still continue to, you know, it's very rare that you end a job and you usually have acquaintances at work. You never have uh, lifelong friends. So I'm lucky to have to count these two as my lifelong friends. And it's the thing I'll miss the most, but it's also the thing I'm most proud of that I have going forward. It's amazing. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You're about to cross a line and there may be no going back because I'm trying to do the right thing. 